Joe, do you want to give me a rundown on exactly what the 100 is about? Sure. Go for it. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, the 100 is a TV show, right? And the idea is that uh, in the future, the not so distant future, the Earth has been destroyed by nuclear war and pollution, and to the point at which everyone has to leave the planet and go and live in outer space. And so they go and live in space for about a hundred years, and then they return to Earth to try to figure out if they can live there again. And that's basically the idea, but there's a lot more to it. And where do you fit in? I'm one of the people who are who's sent back to Earth. The hundred, the title, refers to that group of people. And they're juvenile delinquents, from what I understand? That's exactly right. And aren't you one who has a sibling? No, I'm not. Are you, are you that one, or are you the other one? No, uh, secretly there might be, but I'm, I'm not that one. <laughs> there is that one in the pilot. You discover that, in fact, she's sitting right over there. Um, her character's name is Octavia, and she's, she's been secretly living on this spaceship because they have a one-child policy, not unlike China. China. Yeah. So there's some political issues that are current to the day. Yeah, well, they just don't have enough resources, you know? Uh, there's overpopulation. And so what is the difference going to be on the show between the Ark and the Earth scenes? There's, a, there's many huge differences. Like, uh, for one, the Ark is in space, and, the, you know... But what do the kids do with Earth? What do they do I, well, with the I've Earth? Seen, I've seen some clips. I haven't seen the show. Okay. Uh, well, they arrive for the first time. Um, and then the, uh, <laughs> the wild rumpus begins as it was written in the script, which I will always remember. Um, they celebrate the fact that they're that not dead. Wild the wild rumpus begins, which is funny. I was like sort of, <laughs> yeah, Jason Rothenberg, writer. This, um, yeah, so they celebrate. They're glad they're not dead. And then they enjoy, you know, they enjoy the... the and did they go with plans? Were they given directives? Yeah, the, the plan is to, like, you know, immediately figure out a way to stay alive. So they have to find a cache of uh, food, water, stuff like that. And so they are having to move from where they were dropped through a dense forested area over a mountain into a place where they can find the stuff that they need to stay alive. And then they're supposed to make contact with the... The ship, the mothership, the ark. Do they do that? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe later. No, it's a big. It's a big part of like the, the first episode of this thing is making contact or not. They wear these uh, wristbands, which are supposed to measure their vital signs, and also they can be used as communication devices. But not everything goes as planned. And I also saw in the clip that there might be other life on Earth. There may be. Yeah. You're not going to let anything out, are you? Well, <laughs> <clears throat> there's definitely other life on Earth. But, you know, the Earth has been stewing in radioactivity and pollution for so long that things have changed sort of dramatically. So where there might have been a recognizable mammal over here in the world that we know and understand. Maybe in the world of the hundred there is a less recognizable creature. So last you know what question, I, mean? I do. Yeah. What are you most excited about working on this project? There's a lot, but the character that I play is like uh, he's he's a unpredictable um, very live character. And so anything can happen with him, and that's what's so cool for me.